guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about one of the top most FAQs for all students studying for Step 1 USMLE, which is that what is more relevant to the actual exam? Is it the NVMEs or the UWorld UWSA system? So um, again, this is my opinion. This is what I experienced from my exam. It may be different for, for other people, but yeah, this is what I have to say. Uh, the exam itself is a lot like UWorld and UWSA and the difficulty level um, what I felt was that it was relatively easier than the difficulty level of the questions in UWorld or UWSAs um, but the structure of the questions and the way they ask it and the length of the questions was a lot like it is for UWorld UWSA um, NBMEs, on the other hand, um, have more short and straightforward questions, which is not the way they test you on, ex on the exam day. So I would say that um, you should just use them for assessing what subjects you're weak at and how you should um, how you should study and what are the what are the key things that are um, frequently asked on the exam. But you should not take it for something that tells you what the actual exam is going to be like. Of course, it helps you understand a lot of different concepts. Like the more questions you do, the more your knowledge is going to get solidified. But um, don't think that the real exam is going to be like the NBMEs. So yeah, I hope that helps clear the confusion. And uh, that's it. Have a nice day. Oh, one more thing. So um, a lot of people use NVMEs and the UWSAs for um, predicting what their scores are going to be. What I personally feel that nothing can predict what your score is going to be. Um, so all those people who are making up guesses about what predicts your exam, like is it NVMe 18 or UWSA 2, I think all of those things are pure coincidences because your real score depends on a lot of other factors like your anxiety level on the, exa on the exam day, um, your stamina, um, how well you revise things on the last day, um, and uh, things like the curve of your exam. The level of difficulty of the questions that you got and so many other things so um, don't let any predictive score get you down because nothing can in reality predict what your score is going to be just use these tools to assess where you are in your preparation use them to help you identify your weak areas and work on them but um, don't let them make you feel bad about anything or don't let them make you feel overconfident. Thank you. Bye.